Hi, I'm Mariana, and welcome to another episode of GH Stitch Club. Today I'm going to be making our winter beanie, which is very beginner friendly and takes just one ball of yarn. So let's get started. What you'll need for this project is one ball of super chunky yarn. I'm using a wool from Stitch and Story today, a pair of US 13 knitting needles, a pair of snips, and a darning needle to weave in your ends. To begin, we're going to use a long tail cast on, and we're going to cast on 42 stitches. So you'll pull out a good length of yarn, create a slip knot, and then to create our long tail cast on, you'll keep the tail end of your yarn on the left and the ball end of your yarn on the right, and you will hold both ends around your thumb and forefinger, and you'll slide your needle underneath thumb and then underneath the index finger. We're using a long tail cast on today, but if you feel more comfortable using the backward loop method or another method of casting on, this project is very forgiving. So whichever you feel most comfortable with, you can use, but I would recommend that you try the long tail cast on for a stretchy edge. So now we have 42 stitches on our needle and we're going to start our knit one, purl one rib stitch. So if you've tried one of our projects before, this is going to be a piece of cake for you, but we're basically just knitting one, purling one. So we create a knit stitch and then a purl stitch. To create a knit stitch, you pass your right hand needle underneath the stitch on the left hand needle, yarn over top, and pull through that stitch. Then to create a purl stitch, pass your yarn towards you, pass your right hand needle underneath the left hand needle from right to left, yarn over towards you, and pass through. Just alternating knit one, purl one, to the end of your work. So now we've almost come to the end of our row. I have two stitches left and your last two stitches should be a knit and then end on a purl. Then we'll turn our work and just continue again on the other side. So knit one, purl one, turn your work, knit one, purl one, all the way across until your work is about 11 to 12 inches long. So now I've knit and my piece is about 11 to 12 inches long and we're ready to start our decreases to form the top of the hat. So to do that, we are just going to knit two together and then purl two together. And it's exactly as it sounds. You'll pass your needle under two stitches instead of one and knit one stitch. And then to purl two together, you'll pass your needle under two stitches and purl those two stitches together. And just continue in this way to the end of your row. Okay. 
So we're at the end of our decrease row and the last stitch was a knit stitch. So when we turn our work around, our first stitch will be a purl stitch. And this row, we will just purl one, knit one, purl one, knit one. So for this row, you should have 21 stitches. We'll start with a purl stitch and we'll knit one, purl one, all the way across your row. So now we've made our decrease row and we've made our knit one, purl one row and we're ready to finish off our hat. So we'll take, I have a length of yarn left over that we'll use to cinch the top and seam up the back of the hat. So I'll thread my darning needle onto this loose end. And then we'll just catch these stitches that are on the needle and cinch them to tighten up the top of the hat. So we've passed all our stitches onto our tail yarn and you'll just pull that all the way through and cinch the top. So first I like to pass my needle through the top of the hat once more just to keep it really secure. So I'll pass my needle back through those stitches on the top of the hat. and we'll come back around to the seam side. And then you can just run a whip stitch or a mattress stitch, whatever you prefer, down the back of your hat. So that just looks like this, passing your needle under the leg of one stitch and over the leg of the stitch corresponding. So we'll just work back and forth. And then when you get to the end of your hat, you can knot together with the starting tail and then weave in both those ends. Then you can turn your hat inside out to the right side, and now you have your winter beanie. And at this point, you can add a pom-pom if you'd like. We like using these faux fur pom-poms that have a little snap on the inside, so you just use a little sewing needle to sew the one end of the snap to your hat. <laughs> Cute. <laughs> You can find these faux fur snap pom-poms online at your local craft store or check out our video on how to make your own. Thanks so much for watching. Comment down below and let us know what you'd like to see us make next. And be sure to tag us on Instagram. We'd love to see your creations.